Today I'm headed to the Bristol Renaissance Fair in Kenosha, Wisconsin. But first I have to get there. It's about an hour's drive north of Chicago. And today is an especially warm day, but I'm excited because I'm gonna be meeting someone I know from YouTube. So we're headed up past Six Flags, right across the border into Wisconsin. And I arrive here in this parking lot, which is pretty much straddling the Illinois and Wisconsin border. Arrive at Bristol Renaissance Fair. Arrived. Hello. Good morning. Okay. All right, we made it. And we're parking in a bush. So I arrive at 11 and make the long trek through this field to the entrance. I find out that my party is running a little bit late because they had to park over a mile away and get changed into their costumes. Hey, I'm gonna buy my ticket here and wait for my party to arrive. It looks like it's $40 for adults, 15 for children. 38 for seniors and students. So I'm making my way in and getting a lay of the land. I have some time to look around and explore on my own because I mentioned earlier that I'll be meeting a friend from YouTube. And if you're familiar with my channel, you might know him as Mr. K or Mr. Krakovian. And he is going to be bringing his friend Renan. And they are changing into their costumes. They had a much further parking lot to come from so i have some time here to just look around and explore a bit on my own while i wait for them to arrive i'm glad to see that there's actually shade the bristol renaissance fair is designed to emulate a 16th century english village and it is the largest renaissance fair in the country but it runs for nine weekends between early july and labor day it attracts people from all over the country and even different countries. You hear many different languages being spoken while you're wandering around. This particular weekend was steampunk weekend, but various weekends have various costuming associations, but you'll always see the Renaissance as the main theme. It is a whole lot of fun to just walk around and people watch because you'll see costumes from every walk of life and things you didn't even know existed. A few of the things that make this Renaissance Fair unique is the size and scope of it. It's a very large property and all of the buildings are permanent structures designed to emulate the Renaissance time period. And the property is only used for this Renaissance Fair. So it's really charming and really does give you the feeling of stepping back into time. This is a lot bigger than I remember. It's pretty cool. There's gonna be a lot to explore. I'm just taking a preliminary walk around. So far, it's a lot of shops and kind of like beer gardens or whatever and people sitting waiting for shows to begin so just taking a little walk around here while staying close to the entrance so I can uh, meet up with my group whenever they get here.
course, these would catch my eye. The coloring books. Creative Havens, that's your brand, Annie Jammy. Let's see what else. Gnomes. I think like what Ron was talking about, gnomes. Festival Dragons. All right, they are supposed to be on their way soon. In the meantime, I've already watched two 16th century square dancing competitions and toured around several stores. So I'm having a break under this shade tree and keeping an eye out. The people watching here is level 10. <laughs> I mean, you truly see every type imaginable so I'm having a lot of fun just sitting here waiting for them to come and watching all of the costumes you really and truly do see all types Well, look who arrived. It's Mr. K in his Polish Huzar costume and Renan in his anime costume. Those costumes take a lot of time to get into and even longer to walk a mile in them from the parking lot. I'll put, my, I'll put the flag up too. Sorry. Okay. Are you Polish? Yep. Yeah. You don't see? <laughs> Now it was like Mr. K became an instant celebrity the moment he walked in because evidently half of the people there are Polish and they all knew about the Polish Hussar and wanted to take a picture. Where are you guys from? Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Colombia, that's where uh, Shakira is from. What? Yeah. Shakira, yeah. Maluma. Malu oh, my goodness. No. My neighbors are from Peru. So you guys can, you, you guys can cook a mean piece of meat then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. I'll make sure you got some polo stuff. <laughs> Striking up conversations everywhere he goes. <laughs> oh, that is fucking good. Hell yeah! <laughs> Now, it was extremely hot that day. They must have been sweating bullets in those costumes. And this pier, a bridge, whatever it is, was extremely shaky. And I was just praying we were going to make it across without it collapsing. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh. Now, it was extremely difficult for Mr. K and Renan to walk around in those costumes. First, because of the heat, but secondly, because 
just the weight of them and the difficulty to walk. So the plan was that we were going to tour around a little and have the chance for them to show off their costumes, get something to eat, and then go back to the car where Mr. K had an outfit change planned and Renan was going to just wear regular street clothes like I was wearing and we could enjoy the festival a little bit more. So we're just kind of taking in the sights here and talking to all sorts of people because everyone wanted to meet the Polish Hussar. Costume, you can wear, you can buy one. Palm and tarot reading. Anything that's related to food is extremely packed. After we had some lunch, Mr. K and Renan posed for some last photos in their costumes because it was now time for us to make the trek back to Mr. K's vehicle so they could change. However, Mr. K flagged down a random van in the parking lot and said, can I pay you 10 bucks to drive us back to our car? At first, I, it seemed a little ridiculous until I saw how truly remote the remote parking was. You parked this far away? That's why I said we don't walk. You walked this? Along the road? What the hell? What the? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is where you park. How did you even get there? On foot? We walked. Along this like, highway? Yes. Well, not the highway. No, no, there's a. There's a you see, that's why he knows. Oh, hell no, I ain't going that far. Shit, no, I don't mind walking. I mean, that is like a country mile. Where are you parked at? No, uh, just uh, further up. Just right I'm just dropping these guys off. I'm coming right sure. back up. Uh, point me in the right direction okay, over there. Just left. Yeah, left. <laughs> I'm just dropping these guys off. I'm coming right back up. I got a dehydrated guy back there. I'm just dropping he, he, off. He's not parking. Park. He's leaving. I'm coming right back up. Okay. We have a celebrity in the van. Yeah. Uh, okay, turn right. Turn right. Is that your car? This row? Yeah. That, uh, no, uh, the next, next row? Next row, yeah. I see my car. Right in. That's it. Thank you so much. After a wardrobe change and some more posing, Mr. K is feeling more comfortable in his Robin Hood costume, so we're going to continue to explore... Okay, there was the pretzel booth I was oh, thinking about. <laughs> I'm not really hungry now, though. The quite delectable. And look at this. <laughs> look at this. Now that's a turkey leg. Right, we're on the hunt for some kind of a pouch or bag for him. Seems like he has a few. What kind of a bag? Like over there? 
We'll all go to hell if the stories we tell contain God's tale or earth. Let's raise a toast. Let's raise a toast. Let's raise a toast. We'll sit right here and drink our beer with the ones we love the most. It happened right then at 20 past 10. The devil walked in the door. Grabbed a bottle of tea. Opened it and began to pour. A serious face as he heard the voice of the heart. He's looking for his bag. Yeah, we gotta see how good he is. Come on, run in. Huh? This is actually harder than it looks. <laughs> Now Robin Hood's gonna do it. <laughs> Takes a real man to wear tights. Yeah. This goes up. Robin Hood. Let's see Robin Hood. We didn't see that one. <laughs> Mel Brooks talk. Mel Brooks. Hey, that's cool. No, okay. Takes a real man. All right, there you are. Well done, sir. And here was the best shot.
if I am caught not wearing this by one of my fellows. I got the best. Yea, Her Majesty, we count. She is the 25th. There are only 24 of us plus Her Majesty. Yeah, I'm for you. I'm a lonely, but I don't know that I'm that lonely. No, not that so desperate yet, eh? Oh! There's Sonner and Mon. Oh, I know. It's very good. Yeah, when we get it's always Amber is always beautiful. So either in your story or in your I was like wondering because I'm just thinking because I know when I went when I was in Krakow they were selling a lot of this like crazy wear. Yeah. I was in Gdansk a couple of years ago and you can pull when after it rains you can pull some of the uh, amber right out of the sea. That's awesome. That's, that's a really cool. So you don't do yeah. steampunk. I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's, it's not true. Oh, you almost got it. Back off. 
Back up. Back up there. Back. Back. It's either back telling up. you back up. You're doing a good job. You're okay, just... right there. At 7 p.m., we made it to the very end, and here's some photos of our day. We had an awesome time and uh, we saw lots of stuff. So thanks for joining us and come with me on my next outing. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching.